During a decade-long commodity boom, Emerald was one of many small mining towns that flourished in the Australian outback. When Emerald was shining, it attracted thousands of workers from all over the country who moved here to take up coal mining jobs, some of the highest paying jobs in the world. But today, as coal prices have plummeted globally, buildings are vacant and thousands of jobs have been lost. JNL Mining is a small company that once offered a wide range of services for mining companies, including transportation, training, and providing temporary labor. Hi, John. Here you go. Co-founder Jim Fabish, a former mine worker turned entrepreneur, says his once thriving business is now struggling to survive. Damn, that wasn't work. Oh. <laughs> no. no, I was hoping it was. Um, this is our job sport, so we're used to seeing this full most of the time. That doesn't happen anymore. There's plenty of empty spaces. The last six months, we've seen it just get worse and worse. So if I get another month of this, we might shut the gates. Only three years ago, Mr. Fabish's company moved into a bigger shed as demand was still growing. Today, coal prices have crashed and his workforce has shrunk from 50 to 3. He says he would like to sell JNL's vehicles and specialized machinery, but couldn't find buyers ready to pay a fair price. I've probably got $300,000 worth of assets that aren't making any money, just sitting there doing nothing. Mining giants, including Rio Tinto and BHP Billiton, invested billions of dollars in the area. There are projects planned to operate dozens of mines, but coal prices have fallen by more than 70% from their highs five years ago, dragged down by China's economic slowdown and a decline in global demand. As a result, since 2012, many projects were put aside or reduced their workforce. About 23,000 jobs have been lost in this state since the end of 2013. Here in Perth, it'll be very difficult to escape the shockwaves of the downturn. It's not just Emerald. Jobs have been slashed in mining communities across Australia, which is one of the world's biggest exporters of commodities such as iron ore, coal and gold. When the big miners were on a roll, this was the place to be. Iron ore rich Western Australia was badly hit. Looking for work. And nationwide, the mining industry employed 52,000 fewer people in February 2016 than at its peak in 2012. The boom and bust had a large impact beyond the mining sector, according to Peter McGuire, who recently stepped down after 16 years as mayor of the local council in Emerald. In my experience, this has been the worst downturn that um, we've suffered. So this area here is a new subdivision that started a few years ago. The city sprawled into the outback as houses and estates were frantically built for newcomers. Many of these houses are now empty and prices dropped more than 40%. In the real estate sector, the price of them were through the roof and now they're back down to and what I would say are more affordable rates. 30-year-old Jeffrey McDonald was one of those workers earning the equivalent of more than 110,000 US dollars a year on a local mine. He bought this house for about $250,000 five years ago. Shattered. Then, in 2014, he lost his job and was transferred to another mine, about 150 miles from here. He now drives two and a half hours each way to go to work, but doesn't want to leave Emerald because the value of his house has dropped. Heaps of people left Emerald, went back down the coast and that. I don't want to move. All my friends are here, family here, and um, I wouldn't be able to sell my house, so I would be able to, but I'd be giving it away. In nearby Blackwater, whose namesake mine began producing coal in 1967, Mining partners BHP and Mitsubishi announced last year that they would outsource more than 300 jobs to contractors, and about 150 permanent employees were given the choice of losing their jobs or being relocated. These women don't work in the mining industry, but they are anxious about the future. They say these changes are leaving the community in a precarious state because the town's existence is dependent on mining. We never thought it would be this severe. Yeah. I think everybody's job's yeah. at risk, to be honest. All right, we've still got to focus on Johnny's got the ball. Jim Fabish tries not to worry about the future. Some former mine workers are now employed in other sectors like agriculture, and the city council says it is looking for new sources of growth. Go. However, the resource sector is still a major employer. For the next generation, relying on mining jobs might not be the best bet anymore. Their future could take them away from Emerald. If you can find jobs, I think it's a great place to build a family, but without it, it just can't happen. Yeah.